today. No Man's Sky makes some big changes just before launch. Hopefully there's still no man. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where today I am sad to announce we will have to push back the release of the highly anticipated Mario, Sonic, Master Chief, and Professor Pigglesworth at the 2016 Summer Games due to some licensing concerns. Specifically that we never asked Sega, Nintendo, or Microsoft about using their characters. Turns out they're kind of picky about that sort of thing. Take-Two Interactive has won a partial victory in a lawsuit filed against 2K Sports by Solid Oak Sketches, a tattoo shop claiming ownership of tattoo designs that appear on athletes like Kobe Bryant in NBA 2K16. You may think, as we did, that once you paid a tattoo artist to embed a design physically inside your skin, that you own that design. Apparently, that may not be the case. The courts have dismissed Solid Oak's initial claim of copyright infringement to the tune of $150,000 per infraction, which considering the NBA 2K16 sales numbers would add up to billions of dollars. But while those infringement damages are off the table, Solid Oak can still pursue actual damages relating to loss of sales for some of the designs. The whole thing calls into question publishers paying athletes for use of their likeness that tattoos, despite being in your body, may not be part of your likeness. So heads up, tattoo receivers, if you have aspirations of your appearance being, co being a commodity, make sure to ask the tattoo artist for non-exclusive worldwide rights to the tattoo they are putting upon your actual skin. So lately, we've made a lot of jokes asking why Arcane's new game Prey is called Prey, considering it has almost nothing in common with the original Prey. Well, it turns out we weren't the only people wondering this, and now we have an answer. According to Bethesda's Pete Hines, it was because both titles were loosely defined as space shooters. Hines described the conversation between Bethesda and Arcane thusly. We talked to Arcane, and they were like, we like the name. If you distill and take out everything you know about the previous game or the cancelled game and just said the name Prey, it's a cool name. We think it really fits with uh, what, we, what we're making. So why is it called Prey? Because the publisher had the name available. Honestly though, video games have been named stupider things for stupider reasons. See, every Kingdom Hearts game. I think we might have made some kind of promise about taking a week off from Pokemon Go news, but haha, <laughs> no. Pogo news update. Niantic has finally said what we were kind of expecting. Their reasons for closing their API and taking down Pokemon map trackers like PokeVision wasn't for the integrity of the theme of the game, but more integrity of the game. Which is to say all those sites and widgets and apps making millions of API calls was causing a massive drain on their servers, affecting performance, and Niantic's ability to roll the game out to new markets. This announcement comes as part of Niantic's new commitment to communicate with their players more or at all. Additionally, Twitch has finally said that in keeping with their policy of if it's against the game's terms of service, it's against ours, streamers cheating Pokemon Go by spoofing GPS data will no longer be allowed, and those who continue to do so will be taken offline. You want to play Pokemon Go, you go outside and you wander around blind and aimless like the rest of us. Players of the Korean MMO Black Desert Online are angry. You see, developer Pearl Abyss recently started allowing players to sell premium items in the in-game marketplace, meaning it's now pretty easy to get super rare, powerful items if you're willing to pay real money for them because you can buy in-game currency for real dollars. Ah yes, the specter of pay to win! Some people are protesting. But not just in a forum or in the game's subreddit. In the game itself, people are holding up virtual protest signs and going on virtual protests. As games get more and more realistic, it's nice to see that you can do almost everything in a game that you would do in real life. Although, look at those protest signs. They look pretty nice. I kind of doubt everybody would put that much effort in in the real world. Part of the reason Hello Games were getting so annoyed with people playing No Man's Sky before Street Date and why they weren't sending out review copies is that they've been spending the time between certification and launch working on a day one patch that literally changes the game. The patch itself is 800 megs, relatively slim in the world of day one patches, but it has some far, far reaching changes. Some spoiler free examples from the patch notes greater diversity and density of planet ecology, increased ship inventory capacity, reduced planet rotation. Caves can now be up to 128 meters tall. Creatures have specific diets, 
and, quote, we changed the rules of the universe generation algorithm. Planets have moved, environments have changed biomes, galaxies have altered shape. So, uh, yeah, the save file you created in your illegal pre-release copy ain't gonna work, because it's a completely new universe out there. Just a quick reminder and follow-up to a story we reported on way back in Checkpoint episode 146. Leland Yee, the California state senator who tried to impose harsh restrictions on the back of video games cause violence, has been sentenced to five years in prison following his 2014 arrest for weapons trafficking. To reiterate, the man who tried to claim that video games cause violence was sentenced for colluding with literal gangsters to buy and sell actual guns. Mm. When justice is served just right. Oh, oh, good news. What? I emailed Microsoft about licensing their characters, and they agreed. They're going to let us use Clippy for Professor Pigglesworth at the 2016 Summer Games. Clippy? Yeah. Never mind. Coming up, Fallout 4 has been patched to make a major quality of life improvement. You can now kill the Wasteland's least appreciative settler, Marcy Long. So if you need to go and download something, we won't judge you. Beforehand, people would deal with this. My favorite way of, of people dealing with this is that they would build like an outhouse in Sanctuary, like as far away from the settlement as possible, and tell her to get inside it, and then replace the door with a wall, <laughs> and just trap her in there away from everyone else so that she can be toxic and bitchy away from the rest of the sanctuary. 